This is an Austin Matthews penalty for illegal check to the head from way back on November 19th. But I just want to revisit it because it's such a classic example to me of putting yourself in a place where a player skates into you. This is not an illegal check to the head. This is simply a check that results in head contact. Austin Matthews stays low. He keeps a stick on the ice in two hands, and he actually turns up the ice to go in the same direction as the player he's hitting. This is not a blindside hit. It's not an across-the-body hit. It's not a poor angle. He does absolutely nothing to pick the head here. That player turns, and Matthews turns up the ice. If Matthews truly took a bad angle and drove through the head, contact would have happened here or here. But he delays contact because he turns up the ice with the Buffalo player. And he makes a clear stick-on-stick -stick attempt with the puck. There's almost no attempt at a body check at all here. So why I bring this up is this isn't just a bad call. It's actually a detrimental call. It's one of the worst calls the NHL could ask for because it sends completely the wrong message and generates mass confusion about what players are and aren't supposed to do. Like, you could not get a better example of a player behaving exactly the way the NHL should want them to if they're going to try and take headshots out of the game. And yet, this is a minor penalty. This call is what's going to hold the NHL back from advancing in how they treat head contact in the future, more so than any big hit that you think is overcalled for head contact because you want old school hockey. Mistakes like this don't just overpunish players who play the wrong way. This punishes a player who is playing exactly the right way that you should want to promote.